and welcome to the video tutorial on how to create and activate an Animal Jam account. I'm Queen Wolf AJ, and in this video, I'll be walking you through the process of creating and activating an account step by step. So, you want to play Animal Jam? Well, luckily for you, it's easy to get started. The first step to start playing Animal Jam is to download the app and make an account. To make an account, open Animal Jam. You'll see a screen that looks like this. Of course, I've already created and activated my account. Therefore, you'll see my avatar down at the bottom, so don't worry if you don't see any avatars down there when you first open the app. When you first open the app, you'll see these two options. To create an account, click Start New. You'll be brought to this screen where you can choose between six different animals to get started. But don't fret, these are all just starter animals. You can have way more than one animal and species after you've created your account. Choose whichever animal to get started. I'll choose a wolf because it's one of my favorite animals. Click Next after you've selected your desired avatar. You'll then be able to select a name for your avatar. You can randomize your name or choose your own. You're also able to change this name in-game after you've created your account. Click Play after you've chosen a name. You're almost done. <laughs> you've already created an account. Follow Bunny Alpha Peck as she shows you the basics of how to play the game. Or skip the tutorial, which we do not recommend because Peck has some great tips for you. Once you've completed the introduction, you'll officially be inside the world of Jama. You'll see a pop-up screen asking what you want to do next. Feel free to play around and explore. You can shop, decorate, play mini games, and more. If you click free gift and learn about membership, you can get more information on the perks of getting a membership and get that free gift, of course. After you feel like you've gotten to know the game better, click the settings icon up in the top right corner. You'll see all these options and settings. You can customize them as you please. But you'll also notice a button that says create a free account. Click on it and now you can create your actual username that can be displayed to yourself and other animal jammers while in game. Create a username that follows in-game rules. Keep in mind your username will go through the approval process and not appear right away. Do not make an inappropriate, offensive, or hurtful username that can make others upset. Create your username and click Next. If you type in a username that you want and it's taken, choose a new one or try to add something else to make yours unique. My username on Animal Jam and Animal Jam Classic is QW072. And of course, as you can see, it's taken. So I'll have to change it up a bit. Now it's time to create a strong password to protect your account. Keeping your password safe and complex is the best way to secure your Animal Jam or Animal Jam Classic account. Choose at least four words that do not contain any personal information. Include numbers and symbols. Make sure your password is at a minimum of 12 characters long. And make sure you do not use this password on other sites. Make sure that only you know and can remember the password. Never share your password with anyone. You may need to type it twice to confirm. Click Next when done. Next, you'll need to add your parent's email address. Be sure to ask for their permission before entering. Have them help you if you need to. Do not use a school email or fake email. Emails are utilized to verify account ownership. If you fake the email, then you won't be able to access your account. When you're done, you'll now be in Jama as an officially registered account. Have your parent or guardian check their email. A confirmation activation email will have been sent to them. Have them follow the steps attached to the email and have them activate your account. After it's activated, you're done! But if you want to chat and say more than what is given by the game, have your parent or guardian visit their parent dashboard. Have them select the icon of which game you play, Animal Jam Classic or Animal Jam. In this case, I'm signing up for Animal Jam. Have them select your chat settings on the parent dashboard. Read the descriptions of the chat settings and select what you and your parent or guardian think is the best option. Finally, set up two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication ensures more security for your account. To set it up, go onto your parent dashboard and find the two-step option. Turn it on and check the email you set the account up with for a verification code. Just as easy as that, type in the code and you're set. Now you can play Animal Jam even safer than before. Animal Jam is such a fun game, and I really hope this tutorial can help you get started and playing. My favorite part of Animal Jam is probably all the amazing jammers I've met and all the buddies I've made. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you're ever confused on a topic, head to Serapia Forest and check out all these awesome tutorials created by me and my fellow Jambassadors. You may find what you're looking for there. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys!